My name is Graham Randall. I'm, uh, I'm 37 years old now, uh, and uh, stopped competing in 2002 uh, after the Manchester Commonwealth Games. When I became world champion in 1999, that was for me at that time you know, the most important event in my life. So I had a good template and a blueprint for success after that. I knew um, if I could replicate that, not just the physical aspect, but the, the emotional and the mental side of the preparation that I'd be in without a good opportunity for delivering more uh, medals further down the line. Well, t ten years on from competing in Manchester, I've obviously had a long time to reflect on it and uh, you know think think quite critically about the performance that I put in that day. Um, it was difficult. It was a, a pressure pressure event for me as I'd, I was coming back from quite a, a severe injury. Um, there was a lot of uh, background issues surrounding that injury, and it was touch and go right at the last minute whether or not I would compete. I was very quiet beforehand, and anybody that knows me and knows that that's not my usual. Uh, persona. Um, I'm normally very loud, gregarious and uh, oozing confidence but for some reason the week before that I'd, I'd been much more within myself. Um, I think because I knew the stakes were so high. You know, there, there was something different about that particular event. The first couple of days hadn't gone so well. We, we'd have won lots of medals but we hadn't won a gold medal and I started to feel the pressure starting to build. You know, and Although it was never said, you can feel the expectation. Well, Graham needs to deliver. We need a gold medal here. That was the exciting part. No, well, my right. I'm going to have to deliver now. So I'm through in the background, and you can hear the, the hum of the crowd. It gets really twitchy in there. And it was that moment that I heard the, the pipes start playing. The Scottish crowd went crazy, um, and they couldn't be, you couldn't hear a thing. It was just so noisy. Um, which was good because I was already focused and in a tunnel in my mind already that that just helped, that, that just reinforced what I was there to do. The final itself, it, it was a very tight match. Um, Thomas and I obviously know and each other very well, knew each other very well. Uh, we'd, we'd trained against each other. I'd fought Thomas a, a couple of times and um, I'd had a 100% record against him but I was never going to let my guard down with him because he was the home, the home favourite. He, he was the homeboy that wanted, everybody wanted to win with the English crowd and I could feel as soon as we gripped up that he was wanting to win it just as much as me. You know, he, he wasn't going to let the previous form statistics come into this match. As far as he was concerned, he was coming home with a gold medal. It was so tight, we got a penalty each. I was like, all right, that normally happens. In another minute or so, we both got another penalty for passivity. Like, oh, right, this is going to get a bit naughty in a minute. And then another penalty each. Now, if we'd, both, if we'd received another penalty, then we would have been disqualified. Or one of us would have been. And that's when, I suppose, tactically, I made the decision in my mind to be really, really aggressive at that stage. So I've went full power uh, to attack him um, and caused him to step out the area and be on the defensive. And I knew he would then be coming back at me because if he didn't, he'd have been disqualified. Uh, and that's what, that, I'd set my trap. So as soon as the referee said, go for the next exchange, he had to attack, and the minute he attacked, that's when I foot swept him and claimed the gold. And we're still no clearer as to who will get this gold medal. They've both got significant penalties, but Vandal does it. It was a release of, of, of energy and um, anticipation and of release of having waited a long time to deliver that, that performance. Everyone that, that has contributed in their own, in their own special way uh, to me winning, I, I, I think it was shared by them as well. Winning the, the gold medal in Manchester because there was so much attached to the journey to get there and actually being able to step on the mat to fight, uh, I, I would put it on a par with winning the, winning the, the, the World Championship gold medal. The Commonwealth Games in Glasgow, undoubtedly, it's, it will be the pinnacle of many athletes' careers. It was my chance to, to shine as a, as a Scottish athlete in a Scottish tracksuit, um, competing with my teammates, but also competing against you know, the rest of the world.